well, hello and welcome to the Household Logistics YouTube channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Ronta and please subscribe and click the notification bell. That way you will receive notification automatically about future videos here at the Household Logistics YouTube channel. In a previous video here at the channel, I shared with you seven helpful tips for challenging and difficult times. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what are some extra helpful tips for difficult and challenging times. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10. The first point that I'm going to share with you is when you are experiencing difficult and challenging times, choose to keep your team tight. It can be in difficult and challenging times that we find some of the relationships and connections that we had hoped we could rely on as a source of encouragement, perhaps even assistance in help, unfortunately proved to not be the most positive and constructive connections and relationships. So in difficult and challenging times, it is recommended that you keep your team tight. Make sure that the people that you have closest to you in terms of people that you are perhaps speaking to as confidants are proving to be the best people for you in your difficult and challenging circumstance. So tip number one, keep your team tight. The second point in today's video is moderate and audit what you take on board from others. There are often two types of mindset that cross our path when interacting with others and in difficult and challenging times it is not conducive to one's mental health to helping one navigate one's circumstances to find that around you you have people that are unwittingly adding secondary hardship, perhaps even trauma, because of their negativity and perhaps fixed mindsets. 
So during difficult and challenging times, it can be most beneficial to audit and moderate what you choose to take on board from others. The third helpful tip is remember that you are not responsible for taking on board and addressing the anxiety or concern that others looking on at you and your circumstances may start to project. We simply can not take on board other people's anxiety, concern, their desire to have you fix things so that they feel better. During difficult and challenging times, it is wise to remember that you are a separate, individual, independent person and as much as you may be wired to be quite empathetic, you do not have to take on the additional burden of making the onlookers feel better about you and your challenging circumstances. The fourth helpful tip is aim to include some form of physical exercise in your daily life routine. When you are dealing with challenging circumstances, things being difficult and not as you would perhaps wish for them to be, it can be most beneficial for your mental and emotional well-being to include walking, swimming, dancing, some form of physical activity in your daily experience. This helps not only sometimes to clear your head and make your focus change for a set period of time, which can be quite relieving, but it can also help those happier chemical endorphins to be released in your physical body. So during difficult and challenging times, it is good to include daily physical exercise and activity. Helpful tip number five. Audit how much time you are spending inside your head. When dealing with difficult and challenging circumstances, we can find that we are spending a lot of time caught up in the mind thinking about the difficulties, the hardships, the things that are 
in fact, perhaps beyond our control. For those of us that like to problem solve, that can be a source of additional hardship if we are, in fact, spending a little too much time than is really healthy being caught up in our thought life around our perhaps not so great circumstances. Make the most of your five senses instead to help yourself keep present in the time, the space, the actual moment that you are in during your day. It can be most grounding and beneficial to make the most of our senses to not get carried away, go down one dark rabbit hole after another because we are in fact spending far too much time inside our head with our thoughts. Tip number six. Practice affirmation. Even if you find that those around you are not giving you words of encouragement, words of affirmation, choose to affirm the skills, the expertise, the past experiences of you doing well and being productive. Choose to do self-affirmation regardless of your circumstances and what others may or may not be contributing in terms of encouragement. You have talents, gifts, abilities. You will have history where previously you managed to frighten your circumstances that you achieved. Acknowledge, even if you need to write them down, statements of affirmation and post them on a mirror, perhaps on a door, uh, place them on the fridge, put out words of affirmation about yourself as this will help remind you that your current difficult and challenging times will in time pass. Helpful tip number seven. This is a very practical, basic, helpful tip. Make your bed. It is important to honour and respect yourself. And part of projecting respect and acceptance to yourself is to make your bed. Where you sleep every day needs to be something of a sanctuary space. It is right, it is healthy, it is beneficial 
to one's well-being, to make sure that at the end of the day, you have a pleasant, clean, tidy, attractive bed space that you can take yourself to rest and recover and regenerate from the day ahead in preparation for the day to come. So it's a very practical tip, but helpful tip number seven is make your bed. It is conducive to helping you have a good night's sleep. Helpful tip number eight. Keep up your fluid intake. In difficult and challenging times, some of us can find we lose our sense of appetite. However, for health and well-being, it is most important that you keep up your daily intake of fluids. Take time. If need be, set an alarm and make sure that you have regular breaks throughout your day, perhaps to have a calming herbal tea, a cool glass of water. Make the most of taking breaks and keep up your fluid intake. Helpful tip number nine. Create a vision board or write a vision statement. During difficult and challenging times, we can get caught up in a spiral that can lead to anxiety and stress and depression and over time we can feel that there seems to be no light at the end of the tunnel. By creating a vision board, a vision statement, it will encourage you to actively focus on those things that will give you a sense of hope. By creating a vision statement or vision board, it also enables you to then work out the productive and proactive steps that can help you achieve that very vision and dream. So during difficult and challenging times, it can be most beneficial to create a vision board or write a vision statement. It can be a living document that you add to daily. It can be a board that you add pictures and keywords to daily. So your vision and your dream and your hope can each and every day going forward prove to be a very positive input into your circumstances. The final tip, 
Helpful tip number 10. Perhaps consider also exploring and leaning into your spiritual life. For those of us that are people of faith, it can be that in difficult and challenging times, it is our faith, it is our spiritual rituals, our spiritual acts of seeking words of encouragement and affirmation that we can find. It helps us ride out the waves of difficult and challenging times. So I hope that these 10 further helpful tips will be most beneficial for those that are perhaps going through currently difficult and challenging times. If you have found one of these 10 helpful tips to be a new idea or one that sits very right with you and your circumstances, please leave a comment and share with me what helpful tip you found most beneficial to be reminded of in this video. Please also, if you have not already, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. This will help the channel greatly and of course it will help you to receive notification about future videos here at the Household Logistics YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up as that will help the channel also in terms of the algorithm that YouTube has. Thank you for watching.